Hey girl, it's Coach B. Wiley. I pray this video is able to upload. Yesterday I uploaded a video and it never went through. Anyway, I wanted to come on here and talk about releasing, but then I got sidetracked by two different things. A young lady commented on one of my videos about a guy, something to do with a guy going ghost. What if he's having a hard time and he hasn't communicated with you in a few days, but you want to communicate. If you're in the situation to where things have been going great, <clears throat> The guy that you're dating, he's been consistent. You're going on date nights. You're having a good time. He's introducing you to family and friends as you get to know each other. All is well. Then all of a sudden, it gets a little sketchy. He says, when you ask him what's going on, that he's going through some hard times. And he then starts to ghost several days at a time. He's not responsive. He's not answering. He's not initiating any kind of communication. However, you want to communicate. You, I say to that, he would do what he want, want to do if he wanted to do it. Meaning, if you're in this situation <clears throat> and he hasn't talked to you to like a day and y'all, let's say y'all six months in and y'all used to talking every day consistently for the last six months, what you do is you call him. Let's say he don't answer. He ignores you. You then follow up with the text. Like, hey, just seeing how you were doing, how things are going, haven't spoken to you in about a day or so, was just checking in on you. You send him that text message. If he does not respond, you do not call him again. You do not text him again. He is not dead. He is not in the hospital. He is going through whatever he is going through and or he has made the executive decision to not talk to you. It's one of them. It's one of them. And the thing is, what I know about a man... When a man is going through something, he's going to lean in to that woman that he cares for, that he sees as a priority, that he wants to be around. Why? Because she's a soft place to land. She's his peace. She will be there to comfort. She will be there for him to vent. She will be there for him to have a shoulder to cry on if he needs to do that. She is there. However, if he just is flat out not responsive, ghosting you for a few days at a time, pops back in, then says, oh, I've been going through a lot of stuff. Well, guess what? <clears throat> you let him go through his stuff. And if and when he wants to talk to you, he will. Do you need to wait around and stop your whole life while he get his stuff together? No. Why? Because you're dating. This isn't your husband. He hasn't put a ring on your finger. You're not a in a commitment. This is a dude that you're dating. So even if, like this girl who just wrote to me, even though you want to communicate, is he wanting to communicate? And you'll know he does by the words that are coming out of his mouth because he on your hotline, he texting you, he's showing up at your house, you're going to his house, you're all keeping, the, the communication lines are continuously open. Whether than being up, down, all around, sketchy, off one day, on the next, off two more days, then on the next three days. Whew, this is what really bothers me, ladies. <clears throat> when... A dude will literally show you, show you, show you, show you with flashing lights and like a, a bozo clown out there, not calling him a clown or nothing, but I'm just saying extreme. He will be so extreme with his actions and you will still justify why he ghosting you, why he ain't communicating, what's going on. You'll say you're willing to put up with, with a dude who's unwilling to speak to you because he's going through something hard. You know how many hard times? A lot of us will go through in our lives from z lives from zero to a hundred. So let's just say you do tolerate it and you get with them and on down the line. Let's say it's a year from now. Some more hard times. Come on. Now you're on a full blown relationship. He quit talking to you for a week because the thing is <clears throat> once it gets started, it's like a little ball at the top of the hill, rolling down the hill like a, in a, a snowball. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So when you were dating, it started off as he'll ghost you for two days because he's going through something. Now you're a year in, you're together. He knows you're going to tolerate two days. So what's a week? Let me push it to the limit. So he going to give it, let me say I'm going to ghost her for a week. Let me see what happened. Let me see if she's fool enough to stick around because I've already tested her before. Let me take it all the way over the edge. And I'm telling you, ladies, y'all want to listen to me for the most part. When I get real with y'all, y'all want to listen to me. But when I teach y'all about what to say and how to address the mess, oh, y'all all ears. But when I'm telling y'all, 
to step away and recognize BS, you don't want to listen. You want to justify everything. And you want to cut a corner and create a loophole. But go ahead, do your thing, do your thing, sis. But I know you'll be back. And that's why I'm here, to keep you on track. I'm still going to show up for you because you deserve it. Even, even if you don't even think you do, you do. So if you're in this situation right now, this wasn't even a video. <clears throat> but I literally just com responded to a comment before I got on camera. I'm about to go to the gym here in a minute. And it just blows my mind how we'll justify everything in the book. Don't you know the last person who ghosted me? I think he might have been the only person that ghosted me in my life. But this was years ago. The last person that ghosted me, his he started with busy, busy, busy. He kept using that word busy. And I'm like, look, <laughs> ain't nobody this busy. <laughs> but at the time, at the time, I just let him tell me he was busy until he busy my block off. And then he ghosted me. But I just let him tell me that and I received it and I was still signing up, honey, signing up to get picked. And he didn't. He picked right on up over me <laughs> and kept it moving. So I'm, t I'm telling you, and it's funny. Why is it funny? Y'all probably saying, why is she laughing? Why is it funny? It's funny because that dude, for many, many, many obvious reasons, it should have been obvious to me then, but it's it wasn't. That just show you more where my mom was. It's funny because, because I think of who I am and who I've become. And why would I even like girl, what was you, girl, 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 what were you thinking? And sometimes, hey, when you grow like that, you look back on it. You're not hurt. I'm not hurt about it. I'm glad. Him ghosting me was probably one of the best, biggest blessings I've ever received in my 42 years thus far. It's top three. 110% top three. And so anyway. So I say that to say, hey, <clears throat> I want the best for you. You should want the best for you. And if he's ghosting you, he don't want to be bothered with you. Got it? Talk to you later.